Hey everyone, thanks for watching. We are bringing back Michael Hernandez to talk about available inventory in Fresno. And if you've watched any of his shows, you know that he has a special gift for spotting investor specials. So uh, how you doing, Michael? I'm doing great. I'm doing great this morning. And you? Oh, I'm doing wonderful. Uh, looking forward to Tuesday. Are you going to be able to make that open house and ribbon cutting at the hub? Yep. Three to five, right? Yep. Three to five on Tuesday. Should, yeah. should, be, should be a lot should of be fun. Should be awesome. Very cool. All right, so let's. Uh, I always like you showing because actually I haven't seen what you brought us today, so this should be fun. Let me uh, let me bring it up. It's a good little mix. Yeah, you always do. It's always fun. You're like, I, I'm always going. Wow, I'm looking at that one. I'm looking at that one. It's pretty fun. <laughs> so let's see. Share. Get bigger. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's see what you brought first. All right. Yep. White. Yep. First property up, forty-seven forty East White, uh, seven hundred two area. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, right outside of that, um, or Belmont and Maple area, one thirty-five. Um, even the agent comments uh, reflect handyman special, mm -hmm. um, investor special. Great price, uh, and that area is booming on um, uh, investor returns as far as. Yep. Price per month, $1,200, $1,300, $1,100 mm -hmm. um, in that area, man. So I thought this was a great deal at this price, man. As always, you nailed it. I made an offer on this one, but of course, I'm cheap. So go. I think I sent it out at like 110 or something. It's a three-bedroom, yeah. one-bath, if I remember right. It's yeah. like 1,000 yeah. or 1,100 square feet. Yeah, sorry about that. Three bedrooms, one bathroom, mm -hmm. uh, 1,286 oh, square feet. Oh, 1,280, yeah. Yeah. Great the upside thing, here, man. Yeah, total upside. The things that caught my attention, again – we only get to see one picture, but I, I want to make sure the audience kind right. of sees what I see. First thing right. that caught my attention is the, um, I don't want to call it a fire, but it kind of looks like something may have happened. See that tree is kind of dark by the windows and then like the right. awning here is kind uh -huh. of dark. I was like, what's going on there? So, I mean, I, I don't know, right? It could just be the picture and shadows and all that stuff. And then it looks yeah. like to be a stucco building, which they've patched. You see all these white lines yeah, everywhere? Cracked. Yeah. Yeah. So not again, nothing to be urgent. I just want people to see what I see when I'm, you know, I scroll through the MLS still every day and, you know, I spend, you know, I think a property like this that catches my attention, I probably spend two minutes on. Um, but you know, I, I like it again, it shows that the person cared about it. They got these little trees in front. Um, you know, so at least, you know, somebody cared for this property at least at some point. So I thought this was a good find. So nice. Again, right. amazing that you, uh, you, you have an eye for what I look for. It's just a, it's a special gift. <laughs> All right, let's see what's next. Yep, I've seen this one. Another one, 2215 East McKinsey, uh, Fresno 93701. Mm -hmm. uh, three bedrooms, uh, one and a half bathrooms, uh, about a thousand square feet on the inside, 4,600 mm -hmm. square foot lot. Uh, this one is perfect rental all day long, man. Yep. Listed at 140 been on the market for 25 days. So there's a tenant in there. Um, you know, a new investor can come in and kind of clean it up a little bit more and mm -hmm. put it at what market value should be. I forgot what, I don't think it said, at least in what I could see, what is the tenant paying? Do you know? It doesn't say no. Yeah, it didn't say. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I would guess again, wild ass guess this person may be paying like 750 or 800. Probably, um, you know, just give an older, older landlord, maybe, you know, not, not raising rents. But again, a three one in this area, assuming the inside is as nice as the outside looks. I mean, it could be eleven, eleven fifty uh all day long. If there's a carport in back, which I don't know, does it say carport or street parking? Street parking slash yeah, yeah no. It's okay. a forty eight hundred square foot lot. So Oh yeah, street parking for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of eleven hundred probably. So again, um Good find. And, and Michael, if nobody calls you in the next 24 or 48 hours, uh, actually, when I see you on Tuesday, if nobody's made an offer on this, you and I are making an offer on this on Tuesday. Sounds good, man. Okay. Ah, here's one. Yep. Yep. Here's another good one uh, in the 93725, <clears throat> 4811 East Gary Street, uh, listed at 149.9. Uh, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, built in 81. It's 1,180 square feet. Uh, on the property, mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, 4,100 square foot lot. Um, again, Butler and Chestnut area, you know, blue collar, high tenants. Yep. Um, this is a no brainer all day long. This, this one, at least from the outside, looks like it might be in a planned community. So is there an HOA or anything? 
Uh, no, not that I've seen. It looked like that, though, the picture. Yeah, it just kind of gives you that little vibe. Tone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the thing I would look for in one like this, a 2-2, two, two, yeah, but 1,100 square feet, I'd be looking for that third bedroom. And if you can create a third bedroom, I mean, this would be a smoking deal. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, how old is it? It's probably 30 years 1981. old? 1981. Yeah. Uh, oh, 40 years old. 40 years old? Yeah, roughly. Okay, yeah. that's what I would have guessed. I would have guessed 80s. Yep. Okay, yeah. cool. Nice find. Ah, Nevada. <laughs> Nevada is a popular street on our show, man. Uh, yeah. 3910 East Nevada. Uh, we've talked about properties on Nevada before, 93702. Mm -hmm. um, this one's a pretty good find. It's uh, a, um, been updated over time. 158, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, mm. 1,056. Uh, the pictures do reflect that it doesn't need a whole lot of work, man. Okay. I mean, you, know, you go in, you clean it up a little bit, and you put your tenant in there and you put it at, you know, market value and you're good to go, man. Yeah. A couple of things that I see, right. So on the right side of the picture, it looks like there's a long, I'll call it driveway or parking area. Do you know if there's a garage or carport behind that? Uh, this one doesn't have one, I think. Okay. And then so on the, it just has that like, yeah. And then on the right, it looks like a cement fence or block cement blocks. Um, uh -huh. I'm wondering if, uh, again, I don't know the map. Um, if there's like a waterway or something else over there, because that's not a standard wall for residential um, right. or fence. So I would want to know what's there. Again, just sharing people what I see when I look at this. And then the left side, the fence is running down or, or falling. On the neighboring side, yeah. Yeah, on the left side. Um, so that would be something uh, to take care of. But again, I like it. It's fenced, secure. I would probably, if I were to buy this, I would actually take that porch area and I would enclose it. Um, you know, with those little slats just to make oh, you know, yeah. the fine space. Um, yeah. And again, everything you do like that cutes it up. It's already a three, two. So shoot, you can get 1250 for that. I, I, yeah, okay. I, I would wonder what's down this parking, right? Or this, I guess not parking driveway. That would be something I would look at. Yeah. It's a 6,200 square foot lot. So it could be that it's part of the, you know, this could property, be. but it just doesn't have a fence or something on that side. I don't know. Yeah, it's okay. But definitely something to take a look at. It's something to take a look at. Absolutely. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, yes. Popular. Looked at this one. Yep. Um, and these last, these next two turnkey, um, 549 North Poplar Avenue, uh, 93728, mm -hmm. uh, right inside of that Tower Lowell district. Mm -hmm. um, these guys do a wonderful job, um, home helper group. So I know that they're in on, you know, Kind of in our sphere as well. Yep. Three bedrooms, one bathrooms, fourteen hundred and twelve square feet. Oh wow. Turnkey all day long, man. Turnkey. So for the investor that just wants to get the money, park it, not have to worry about things and move on to the next one. Yeah. Perfect one rental at a time right here, man. There you go. There you go. Yeah. And uh yeah, you might want to put sod down or at least seed. That's a little barren in the front. And then on the on the left, again, just looking at it, that looks like it might be multifamily to the left, just given the configuration. It could just be a big house. What do I know? But <laughs> These are all the it, things that I look at when I look at pictures. But yeah, yeah, I like I like what he's done. The roof looks solid. Brand new dual pane windows, it looks like. New siding. Right. Um, great color combination. I, I, I may copy that. That's that's pretty awesome. The only thing yeah. I would probably do is I would definitely fence this with chain fence it in or something. Yeah. yeah, I would definitely do that. But um, yeah, anyways. And there you go. Dayton. Same, same deal here. Turnkey. Um, been on the market for a ton of time. So this is probably going to be a good find for somebody. 1445 West Dayton, 93705, the Fresno High area. Um, listed a little bit high in my personal opinion, 189.9. 65 days, 70 days on market. Mm -hmm. You know, they're primed to take an offer, man. So three bedrooms, one bathroom, uh, built in 47, 1,576 square feet. Mm -hmm. So it does offer space and, um, you know, again, high tenant area, man. Yeah, so this is definitely a footprint that I would add a chain link fence to because you have the you have the doorway or the entryway on the left and you have right. a garage on the right. Um, so I would definitely fence that in. That's that's a huge corner lot. Correct. So that's probably thirty five hundred dollars. It's the wild guess. Uh, but mm -hmm. if you do that, you know it promotes. You know, hey, you can have your dogs, your kids playing outside. It is a corner street, so I would definitely add that. But yeah, this is a gorgeous house. Uh, you said it's a three one, correct? Three one, yeah. Yeah, so three one with parking, assuming that's you know functioning parking on the right. Yeah, you're probably looking at eleven, eleven fifty. Um, yeah. You know, I would call up Michael. I don't know what I'd offer. I, I mean, again, sixty some odd days. I'd probably offer like 
160, 162, kind of test them yep. out. Yep. So, and kind of work your way from there, man. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, um, pretty awesome. Uh, again, if anybody's, anybody wants to get an agent that kind of looks and feels and understands what I look at every day, hopefully by now you've seen Michael brings to the show stuff that I look at, right? I don't know. We've talked a few times, but he just seems to nail it each and every week. So there's his phone number, 559-994-3291. Uh, and of course, his email there, Michael, sell my home at gmail.com. And if you are coming to our open house at the Hub on Tuesday, uh, Michael will be there from three to five. And uh, come shake his hand, take a picture. Uh, anything Absolutely. you want to say, Michael? Uh, no, look forward to meeting you guys. Um, call me anytime, text me, email me. That's what I'm here for. Very cool, Michael. Thank you very much. And have fun with your kids today. All right. Sounds okay. good, man.